Today, I'm gonna to be attempting the one chip coding challenge. And I have Nick White here to supervise me while I do it. And then I'm gonna supervise him on his channel while he does his. For those of you that don't know what this challenge is, I'm gonna be eating the Pocky one chip. And it is a Reaper pepper, scorpion pepper chip. It turns your tongue blue. And after I eat this chip, I have to solve a leak code easy problem before I get any milk. And if I'm able to do that, I beat the challenge. Do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods, allergic to peppers, nightshades, or capsaicin. Capsaicin is the spicy stuff. I don't know what nightshades are. Got my keyboard. Yeah, Got my yeah. MX Master. Impressive after doing no leak code. Turn on dark mode leak code. It's just crazy that you have to go through all this to not. All right, that go. looks pretty good though. You gotta admit that looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. Do a little unboxing. I'm getting a little nervous for you. You're nervous for me? Now that it's about to, I mean, I'm gonna have to do it too. All right. I and mean, I guess you're right. Pardon the interruption, but this video is sponsored by interval.com. And yeah, they're a one word domain name. You know they're hot stuff. Interval is the front endless framework for internal app development for all you fellow devs like myself that don't wanna be writing UI code all the time. Are you tired of using React code just to build internal dashboards? Or heaven forbid, AngularJS? Are you sick of writing extra REST API routes or using clunky drag and drop editors? Well, with just a few lines of code in your Node.js backend, Interval transforms your existing backend functions into tools that you or any of your non-technical people you work with can use. My favorite part, besides the fact that it works flawlessly with TypeScript, is that I can just plug it into my existing code base and use the helper functions I already have and the ORM I already have. So if I want to use stuff like Prisma with it, it's easy as that plugs right in. It's free to start building. Check it out at interval.com slash Ben today. Am I allowed water? No. It tastes gross. You instantly lose the challenge. That's I already feel terrible. It's not too spicy yet, but I'm starting to feel it in my tongue. I think it's going to kick in. <laughs> <laughs> it actually hurts so much. All right, random generated problem. Ah, this is so bad. It's so You got to write at least one line of code. <laughs> Oh, my tongue hurts so bad, Nick. You don't know how bad this, this is. This is a little uh, <laughs> nerve-wracking for me. <laughs> so I need to focus. The K beauty of an integer N is the finest the number of substrings, uh, substrings of num when it is read as a string that meets the following conditions. It has length K. It is a divisor of num. Given an integers num and K. <laughs> So you need to return the k-beauty, and they give you the definition of k-beauty, which is the number of substrings of that number when it is read as a string and meets following conditions, length k, and divisor of num. Okay. Dude, you have to write one line. At least, at least make a variable for result. I make it simple. Result equals num? What is it? Make it easier for me. Give me some hints. I literally can't think. It's so bad. Um, so maybe loop, let's loop through num or something like that. Uh, range num. Okay, so, well you want to, well you might want to, um, turn num into a string. Turn num into a string? Why? Because yeah, you have to loop through it and then generate substrings uh, of num. It's like digits. And I can't think about the problem, but if you like tell me coding things, I can code. Okay, I'm trying to. You turn into a string digits, so substrings of digits. For like K and range. Oh, it's length of K. For. Is it cooling down at all? Not really, it ish, but it like feels so bad still. <laughs> I the, on I the like outer loop. Range of Lin digits. In I, the outer loop, you have to make the substring. <sighs> like within the outer loop. Let me see if I just print. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to do I here. I'm pretty sure it's this, isn't it? Could be if you use the indices. I did. And this is range from I to this. Yes. That's pretty good, right? Possibly I plus one. Oh, I don't know how Python works. I forget. No, that's just printing, though. Wait, I can't STR a num? 
str num oh range of digits you're doing range of oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh wait that's what i want though you no but you need length of digits or something because the range just takes in like no, no 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 i want to go oh wait i'm trying to do each yeah am i trying to go oh am i is this what i'm trying to do that's probably better yeah yeah <sighs> It's like getting a little bit better now. It like feels pretty bad, but I can like I'm not sweating out my eye yet. Does your stomach hurt? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Already? Oh no. Is this what I'm trying to? I'm trying to substring like this. You don't print the substrings only. You have to. Okay. This at least I at least got substrings going. Yes. Okay. And now you want you want the ones that have the length of K. <sighs> then. You increment the count of your result, which is what you're returning, the count of the substrings with blank K. Okay. Like that? Yeah, pretty much. I think that you return the count. Is it that easy? Yeah. That wasn't, oh, please, please, please. Equals, equals. Okay. Please, please. Dude, I'm going to be so happy if this is over. I don't even know what I coded. Oh, output four. Why would it give me four? Wait, you you're using K is your for loop, but it's the oh. parameter. Oh, 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 so you need to use like yeah, J or something. Yeah. Bro, you caught that for me. If you save me right now, I'm gonna love you so much. Please, five. <laughs> got worse. <laughs> oh no. Oh, wait, How I is did... there five? I'm not printing anymore. How's that wrong? It helps if you breathe. My brain hurts pretty bad. Here, I'm gonna print the ones that I think. Oh, we no. got it. All right, submit. Wait, what did I change? I don't think you changed anything. I have no idea. Oh, what this test case is just, what is this? Does it have to do with zeros or something? I'm so confused. And sub zero is not equal to zero. I feel like it's, go to the problem. Maybe there's something with zeros. What is the problem description? Zero. Oh, it's a divisor. We totally forgot about the divisor. Wait, it's girl. How's the divisor work? Uh, the substring has to be a divisor of num. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So I, I, was, I was really confused by that too. Okay, so this is maybe div. It's like this. Uh, and uh, if uh, num divided by Maybe do. Oh, please, please, please. I think that's probably right. Misspelled it. <laughs> please, come on. <laughs> please. This is funny. Dude, maybe for you. <laughs> it is really funny for maybe me. You're numb. <laughs> if maybe div is not equal to zero i don't know about the zeros if that's even a thing oh i got it, I got it. oh okay that's funny let me get some more milk leave a like and um i'd like to see other people do it especially if you're really talented at lead code i want to see someone do medium or hard no one's gonna be that would be medium. really impressive to me i could not even read the challenge and i there should be a time limit too. We should like redo okay, these rules. I've been because... recording for twenty minutes. Well, that's a long time. But like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, oh yeah. Well, you wait thirty minutes, the spiciness goes away, and then you can just do it. I guess. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in the next channel to see Nick suffer too. Maybe.